Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 12, Heat Conduction and Thermal Expansion. So for, for this chapter, there are two subtopics. The first one is the thermal conduction and another one 12.2 is the thermal expansion. Okay, so let us start with 12.1 thermal conduction. So heat is the energy transfer due to the temperature difference. Heat flow from hot or high temperature to a low temperature. Okay, and the unit for the heat is Joule or we can write it as kg meter square second square. And it is a scalar quantities. Okay, meaning that we don't need to consider the direction, we only need to consider the magnitude only. Okay, next one is the uh, what is the difference between the metal and also isolated? Okay, so the first one, metal, the structure inside is actually free electron, whereas for the isolator, it is molecules. Okay, for metal, it will move faster because inside there is a free electron, so it can move faster. For isolator, the heat transfer through the vibrations of the neighboring molecule. Speed of transferring heat for metal, of course, this will be faster if you compare with isolator. And heat transfer for metal and isolator, both are the same way we will transfer from hot to cold, similar for isolator. Okay, next we will go to the rate of heat transfer. So the equations for the rate of heat transfer is equal to dq over dt equals to negative ka dt over dx where dq over dt is the rate of heat flow, a is the cross-sectional area, k is thermal conductivities and also dt over dx is actually the temperature gradient okay so the unit for the rate of heat transfer is either we write joule per second or you can write what and it's also a scalar quantities okay so if the question mentioned is in the steady conditions so we know that the rate transfer for the first metal x will equal to the rate of heat transfer for the second metal one okay next we go to thermal conductivity so thermal conductivity k is actually equals to negative dq over dt over the cross-sectional area times dt over dx the unit for the thermal conductivity we can write as watt per meter per kelvin or watt per meter per degree celsius okay and it's also a scalar quantities thermal conductivity is the proportional constant that depends on the material okay so it depends on thermal conductivity depends on the material that we are using okay it depends on the material okay if the substance that are good conductor they will have a large thermal conductivity okay meaning that if let's say this is a conductor k is value the value of k is greater if they say it's a pro conductor meaning that it's isolated the value for k we will get is smaller okay so it depends on the value of the k okay if k higher meaning that it is a good conductor if k is lower meaning that it's a isolated okay here we have three graph okay we have three graph okay graph number one is the isolated rod where dq over dt is constant and the rate of heat transfer is constant okay if let's say it is an in isolated or non isolated rod okay if you refer to the graph the graph okay we will not the, get the linear graph okay if this is a joint isolated rod meaning that we have a and also we have b meaning that we will have two linear graph eh? so it depends on what is the value of the thermal conductivity okay so if this is an isolated rod meaning that it is usually at steady state where the rate of heat transfer for a will equal to the rate of heat transfer for b okay so if the question mentions steady state meaning that the rate of heat transfer for a and also b are equal okay next one 12.2 thermal expansion okay 
So thermal expansion actually is a change in the dimension of a body accompanying a change in the temperature. So when the temperature is changing, the dimension will change. So linear expansion is involved 1D, meaning it's only involved the length. So the equation is delta L equals to alpha L naught times the change of the temperature. Or we can write L equals to L naught. 1 plus alpha delta t okay area is involved 2d okay where when we say area it will involve the area or we can write it as delta a equals to beta a naught times the change of the temperature or we can write a equals to a naught 1 plus beta delta t The next one is the volume where volume involved is 3D. Okay, the volume expansion delta V is equal to gamma V naught delta T, or we can write V equals to V naught 1 plus gamma delta T. Okay, and so if the questions give you the value of for alpha, okay, we know that. Beta is equal to 2 alpha and gamma is equal to 3 alpha. Okay, so it depends on what other information they give to us. Okay, so that's it for today's summary. Okay, let us watch the next video. We will continue with exercise 1 for chapter 12. Okay, see you in next video. Bye.